Welcome to the Bold Signy Signature Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how signers can incorporate form fields into documents before electronically signing them in Bold Sign. Bold Sign lets signers add form fields during the signing process. This feature helps users tailor forms to their requirements, allowing for the insertion of fields for personal information or specific terms, ensuring accuracy, and enhancing the efficiency of the process. It's essential to note that this feature is accessible to signers only when enabled by the sender. First, I'll demonstrate how a sender can create a document with this option enabled. The initial step is to access the Bold Sign application page. Here, I click the Create New button and select Create New Document. This action directs me to the Prepare Document page, where I upload the necessary form from my computer by clicking the Browse button. I navigate to the Add Recipient section and input the recipient's details. I need to enable the signer to add form fields during signing, so I click the Settings drop-down menu and activate the Allow Field Configuration option. This action permits signers to drag and drop form fields onto the document during the signing process. It's important to note that this option is not available for the reviewer role. I need to inform the signer about their ability to add form fields through a private message as they may not assume they can. The signer can use this ability to specify any requirements they may have. To include a private message specifically for the signer, I activate the private message option. This enables me to enter a personalized message exclusively for the signer. Once these settings are configured, I review the remaining sections and click the next button, leading me to the configure fields page. This is where I'll set up the form fields. Within the Signers section, I organize the form by dragging and dropping the necessary fields. Since the bank details, social security number, and phone number are optional fields, I won't place form fields for them, as the signer has the flexibility to add fields for specifying them if needed. After verifying my changes, I proceed to send the document out for signature. Upon clicking the Send button, a dialog box appears, confirming that signers can add form fields while signing the document. I send the document out for signing. Let's transition to the signer's perspective and see how to add form fields during the document signing process. The signer receives a signature request email with a private message alerting them to the ability to add form fields during signing. Upon clicking the Review and Sign button, in the signature request email, the signer is directed to the signing page. Certain fields are automatically populated and the form fields are displayed on the left panel. Here I need to enter the data required by the sender. I enter the address and PIN code in their respective fields. Say I need to add form fields to specify additional information. Here the bank details, social security number, and phone number fields are optional. I am going to specify my social security number and phone number as the additional information by adding form fields. To achieve this, first I drag and drop a text box field for specifying the social security number. The corresponding text box settings section opens on the left side of the screen, allowing customization by the signer. Next I drag another text box field for the phone number and enter it into the document. All the form fields added to the document by the signer must be filled out to complete the signing process, as the option to finish the signing process is only available once all fields are filled. Once I finished adding the fields, I add the signature and review my changes. Upon satisfaction with the changes, I click the Complete Signing button to conclude the signing process. That is how to enable signers to add form fields to documents during the signing process and how to add form fields while signing a document in bold sign. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our channel for more bold sign tutorial videos.